All right, I want to show you my version of a, a spinner for making, you know, epoxy and lures, painting. But this is adjustable for any size lure. So let me start out with uh, just use a, some plywood, make it wide enough to where it stands up stable. Once you have a bunch of stuff spinning on it, and then the, I guess you could call this the headboard. It's just basically the same piece of plywood for which I cut off and you know glued it and screwed it on there. So the base is a, just a nail guard, something you would find from Home Depot. They come in different lengths. You can put a couple of them together because you can make this thing any length that you really want. Because what it is is that the, the magnet slides at the other end, which you quickly removes for removing the lures when you're done. So I'll show you this magnet here. I got it at Home Depot. I just used a bunch of hose clamps and some angle uh, brackets. Just all mounted on there and it holds it pretty darn good because it's hard to slide to <laughs> but it works so and then basically make a good sturdy base here I made it on both sides so you can flip it around just to get an extra lure in because these little stubby needles that I make I can get three of these on here no problem just using a small smaller little s hook and you're going to need a lot of SX. So, and then they can put the big uh, big swimmers on there. They handle it no problem. So, I talked about the motor. The motor I got from eBay. It's uh, 6 revolutions per minute. They're basically microwave oven. I think I paid 6 or 7 bucks for it. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But anyways, so what I do is I just mount that up there on the headboard put some fender washers on there so the motor won't pull apart and so then another thing I do is I take a piece of a wood dowel like I did here and I drill a hole mount that in there let me spin that around and I cut that flat and I put a screw in there which rests against the flat spot on there and then once that and I epoxy the little eye screw in there both ends. This one I have a split ring with a spro swivel. So and then, we, and then I, I just got a, a wire, a wire switch at Home Depot, and just wired that in there onto an old extension cord, which I have it plugged in. And you can see it; it's spinning. And the good thing you can put if you're just doing one lure, two lures. You know, you can just quickly adjust it to whatever. Just keep I'll just slide it back. It tightens it up. And then you can paint and you know do your epoxy in. Like I said, you can get you know make it even longer if you wanted. But I only do like maybe one lure at a time too. And this is the old setup that I had. Because I just randomly picked this height and then I when I was doing that, and when I do my hooks, when I epoxy the tails on, this foam was only this big. So you can see how that foam will just fit in just like a lure. So this little, this thing is too small, I fill it up too quick, so this is why I built this one a little taller. Because now I'm making this big circle, you can see, and I can get quite a few hooks on there before my epoxy goes off so that's why I made this one so so much larger I'm also going to try to make a, a wood frame to see if I can get that to spin around and put like four or five or six lures on it see how that works but for right now this is a good you know one or two lures at a time so yeah, if you have any questions just comment I'll answer them uh, thanks for watching